thousands of Syrian children are living in parks, barns and caves, while others are being forced to serve as soldiers and porters, according to a report by the Save the Children charity. About two million children are trapped in the country, the organization said in its report, entitled Childhood Under Fire. While health risks, including malnutrition, disease and trauma growth, access to health care is being reduced, it said. This is a war that is disproportionately affecting children, said Save the Children International Chief Executive Officer Jessman with bread. The innocence of childhood has been replaced by the cruel realities of trying to survive this vicious war. Interviews with children suggest they're being deliberately targeted, according to the report. At least 2,000 schools in the country have been damaged during the two years of fighting, which has claimed as many as 70,000 lives, it said. Two-thirds of those surveyed said they had been in a terrifying situation and one in three said they had been hit, kicked, or shot at. Many children are showing signs of emotional difficulties, the London-based charity said. About a third of children questioned said they had been separated from family members, while three-quarters said a close friend or relative had died, according to the report, which also cited research from Basar University in Turkey. The number of children killed in the fighting which has developed along sectarian lines, isn't known, the group said. Hospitals report a rising number being admitted with burns, gunshot wounds or injuries from explosions, it said. Armed groups are also using boys under 18 years old as runners, porters, guards, informers or fighters, it said. Families are marrying girls off early in a bid to protect them from a perceived threat of sexual violence, it said. Half of the one million Syrian refugees are children, save the children said, many of whom are separated from one or both of their parents. It called on the United Nations Security Council to overcome divisions and urgently unite to end the war.